The history of life on Earth is full of mysteries. But modern science has uncovered amazing connections between living things. Birds descended from two-legged dinosaurs. All land plants came from water-dwelling algae. And the ancestors of snakes had legs. Scientists discovered all of these relationships and more with the help of different kinds of evidence for evolution. But what is the evidence for evolution? It's time to shine a spotlight on Evidence for Evolution. Evidence for Evolution includes fossils, body structures, embryos, and genetic information. Scientists are constantly collecting data about how modern life developed. When populations of living things, or organisms, change over many generations, it's called evolution. We can't travel back in time to see what organisms on Earth used to look like, but we can learn a lot about the history of life on Earth by looking at fossils. Fossils are the traces or remains of organisms that lived in the distant past. What do you notice about this dinosaur fossil? You might have observed its pointed snout, long claws, or tail bones. You might have even spotted the indentations of the organism's feathers. That's right. This dinosaur had wings. The fossil shows that millions of years ago, small dinosaurs had feathers, just like modern birds. This is one clue about the history of birds. But scientists don't only rely on the bodies of ancient organisms as evidence for evolution. By carefully observing the bodies of organisms that live in the world today, scientists can see how different types of living things could have had common ancestors. A common ancestor is a shared relative that two or more organisms descended from. Take a look at these four creatures. On the outside, they look pretty different. But if we examine their bones, we can start to notice patterns. Take a close look at the front limb or arm of each of these organisms. What do you notice about the bones in these different organisms? These organisms all share the same bones but they're different in size and shape. That's because each of these limbs has developed for a different purpose. Some are for holding objects, others for bearing weight, others for swimming. What could these similar bones tell us about the evolution of these organisms? The similar patterns in their bones tells us that all of these organisms may share a common ancestor. We can also find similarities at other life stages of different organisms. An embryo is an organism in its first few weeks of development. Many embryos look very similar to each other. It's often hard to tell just by looking at an embryo what kind of organism it will be. Scientists examine embryos to study the development and evolution of different organisms. Let's take a look. What features do these two embryos have in common? Both of these embryos have tails, gill slits, and eyes. Many of these structures will be lost as the organism grows and develops. For example, when sheep are born, they don't have gill slits. But they had an ancestor who did. These similarities in the embryos of different organisms are more evidence that they are related. Some major breakthroughs in our understanding of how life evolved on Earth have come from another important type of evidence, genetic information. Genetic information, or DNA, is found inside every cell of every living thing. DNA is the set of instructions that tells an organism's cells how to build that organism. And sometimes, different organisms have similar patterns in their DNA. The more similarities there are in a section of DNA, or a gene, in two different organisms, the more closely related those organisms are. Let's take a look at how this works. This table shows the similarity of a particular gene, gene A, in camels, compared to the same gene in other organisms. Based on the information shown about gene A, which organism in this table is the most similar to camels? In this table, gene A in boars is 90% similar to the same gene in camels. That means, out of these organisms, boars are the most similar to camels. Often, genetic information can be combined with other pieces of evidence to help us improve our understanding of evolution. Fossils, body structures, embryos, and genetic information 
aren't the only types of evidence scientists use to determine how living things evolved, but they are key pieces to the puzzle of life on Earth. Now you've got the bright idea. Try explaining it in your own words. Describe four pieces of evidence for evolution. Here are some key pieces of evidence for evolution. Fossils show how organisms lived and changed over time. Similar body structures in different types of organisms show that they had common ancestors. Embryos show how different organisms develop in similar ways. And similarities in genetic information help scientists confirm how organisms are related. This is a great start, but don't forget, there's always more to illuminate. What questions do you still have about the evidence for evolution? This has been Spotlight on the Evidence for Evolution, and you've been brilliant.